And we're here with the Cal U Bowling Club. They bowl every Wednesdays at 9.30, and you should come out and join them. Yep, have a great time. Come out. Bowl. Just not a bowl. Just not a pro. Bowl that way. Have a lot of fun. Meet new people. Wednesday at 9.30, come to the lake. Excellent. We're also going to Kenwood in October, so we're selling our tickets there. For $10 for um, Cal U students and $15 for now. So that's what we have going on right now. Excellent. And... BSU is? It stands for Black Student Union or Building Student Union Unity. Because most people think it's just for black people, but it's not. It just offers another opportunity for minority students to have a voice. We also allow other students of other races. We have them at our meetings all the time, helping us out with activities and everything. So this is not for black people, it's just for everybody. So. Awesome. <laughs> uh, basically, we're a newly established club here at the university. We just started up last semester. It was our first year. Um, we, we actually have a new room over in Cooper Hall 122 where we'll be holding all the meetings coming up. Uh, look us up on Facebook on Cal, on, uh, Cal U Entrepreneurs. You'll be able to find out all the details, everything you need to know, all the upcoming events, everything exciting we got going on. And you actually see like some of the uh, um, the group that we have coming in to, to start off the, uh, the new entrepreneurs club here at the university, which is really just going to blow everything out the water. I'm representing the Cal U Filmmaking Club. We're a new club. Um, basically, we get together, we try um, to get as many unique ideas as possible, make them into films, and everyone has a different job. They edit, they film, acting it, whatever we can, just try to be as creative as possible. Well, we're the computer club. Uh, we're here to come down and sign up. We are just a collection of different majors. There's some computer majors. Some CET majors, we have actually an education, well, two education majors now. Um, our big project that we're trying to do here is we're refurbishing computers that we got from SAI and the university. This is actually an example machine that we have here. Um, what we're gonna re what we're gonna do is we wipe the hard drive in it, completely format it, and we're putting the in the operation system back on it. And we're going to line up with a basic software package and try and get it back out to uh, the students for either a uh, low cost at $50 or $5 in community service, either documented through our club or through your own club. Sounds like an awesome opportunity. Um, it's about working one on one with individuals in the community with intellectual disabilities. And you get to pretty much just hang out with them and they literally become your best friend. Um, well, obviously, we're the equestrian team. Well, we're getting right up in my face. Well, I'm afraid that the, I'm afraid the audio no won't work me. if I don't come up a little closer. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> That's okay, the equestrian club. You guys ride horses, right? <laughs> I feel like what our whole project right here is about. I think it means our main title is the equestrian team. We like ponies. <laughs> uh, that's basically the gist of it. You join the team. As much as the team as you want, you don't have to ride if you don't want to. You can show if you, show want, if you to. want to. We go fun place. We went to the zoo last semester. Fun. Do you need to have your own horse yeah. to join? No, no horse. No problem. No, no, no problem. No horse. No problem. <laughs> See that? Join the forensic club. <laughs> and why would we want to do that? Uh, well, if you're interested in police work, investigative work. It's a good way to get some practice at you know, crime scenes and such. Absolutely. So you're looking for people in specific majors or not necessarily? No, not necessarily. I mean, obviously it's mostly criminal justice majors, but you know, if you're just into it, come try it out. Uh, all we are is we're just a uh, non-profit organization that uh, builds houses for those that are in need. Uh, our chapter here on Cal works with the Washington County Habitat. We do two builds every month. We want to, you know, get our name out there, get more community service done in the world, and everyone needs a little help. And this is a great club to join to get the help. Um, it's a really good club. Basically, we met to discover their interest in biology, like showing them all the different opportunities they have, whether it be the animals, the environment, anything like that. Our first um, trip is actually we're going to go whitewater rafting. So a lot of students are really excited about that. Uh, we're the games club. We're, we're really looking at, uh, right now we're focused on video games a little bit, but we got a bunch of people out there um, ready to play some tabletop games, you know, games in a box like Monopoly, that kind of thing, some games that you haven't really heard of, also D&D. 
D&D, tabletop RPGs, all that kind of stuff. Uh, well, first off, it's extremely fun. Uh, it's very active. And, um, you learn a lot. You learn uh, leadership capabilities. You learn how to communicate with people. Um, teamwork. It, it's just a ton of fun, really. And, uh, well, you can stab your friends for fun. Yeah, and then you can stab your friends for fun. And, you know, <laughs> Hey, we're the we're the bodybuilding and fitness club, and uh, come down to Everly 251 and on Tuesday at 11. Just to be a fat and overweight, how to change your life. Look at all this. Hey, You're directing that to me. Transformation right here. So if you're sick of being fat and lazy, it's simple. Join the bodybuilding and lift fitness club. Come down, get your body fit, feel great, have energy, live 20 more years, guaranteed. Gerontology is the study of aging, and we're representing the club. Awesome. Well, and if people wanted to join, how would they find you? Uh, well, they can contact Mary Hart. She's the director of Gerontology for Lori. She's, she's the president, president of the club. Okay. Um, a couple of years ago, we won a national title, and right now we are in a uh, five-year stretch of winning the league championship, and we'll continue to do that. Awesome. How would someone get involved in hockey if they were interested? Uh, you can see the general manager, James Roth, who works here, and uh, we already had tryouts, but every year, actually at the end of every semester, you can retry out for teams, and there's always spots open. We are the Coyote Commuter Council, and what we do is we do a lot of community service events. We also provide, as obviously, um, services to commuter students. We help them out with parking issues, any issue type of issues you have with parking, or any type of issues with commuting to Cal, you can bring to us. Like, basically, we do a lot of, um, like I said, community service. Habitat for Humanity and Relay for Life, and we also have our Cal U car, car show that we are doing in April. Awesome. And if a student wanted to get involved in the Commuter Council, how would they do that? Uh, they can come down to the Commuter Council, the Commuter Center, which is located next to Vulcan Theater in the Child Student Center. Um, we are the cheerleaders of Cal U, and we love our team, and we stick by our team very much, and we love them, and we cheer them on at every moment of the game and are behind them 100% and we cheer for everything all the time. Go <laughs> awesome. Come play. We have no girls and we need some. It's awesome. I promise. Absolutely. Go rugby. The Green Dot is a strategy that we're getting on college campuses that we're trying to get people um, to try to end sexual violence, sexual assault, relationship violence, stalking. But we just try to get students involved, uh, especially like bystanders that kind of stand around and don't do anything if they see something happening. We just try to get a lot of people involved and more people aware about our strategy. Even if you wear our shirts, it's still promoting our strategy to end violence on college campuses. Uh, you can find us in Watkins 114 on Tuesday during common hour. Um,
and anyone in the community who has a disability or a gifted, we welcome them to come to the campus that we hold here at Cal. And we have, we're actually filled to capacity right now, so we can't even accept any more homes in the area. But anyone with a disability comes and we pair them up with a member and they can dance. We have food for them and we do teams like this year we're doing a Halloween dance and we're doing a spring ball for them so they can have a ball. and our upcoming shows. 